primates are distinct amongst mammals in several ways. Interestingly, they have larger brains relative to body size compared to other mammals. Most primates have opposable thumbs, and most primates have tails. Primates also have a greater reliance on their sense of vision than other mammals, who rely more greatly on their sense of smell. Compared to other mammals, primates are also incredibly complex socially and are considered to be amongst the most social animals on the planet. They have longer developmental periods and have generally longer lifespans as well. Among the most powerful primates are gorillas and orangutans. Both species have extraordinary qualities, thus many people are curious to know who would win in a battle between the two beasts. In this video, we will tell you how we think such a fight would end. But before that, we will start with the presentation of the two opponents. Description Gorillas are the largest members of the primate family and are closely related to humans, with 98% of their DNA identical to that of humans. Unlike other primates, they are terrestrial, meaning they do not climb trees and are land-dwelling. Biologists recognize two species, the eastern gorilla and the western gorilla, each of which has two subspecies. All gorilla species are listed as endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. The eastern gorilla is more darkly colored than the western gorilla, with the mountain gorilla being the darkest of all. The mountain gorilla also has the thickest hair. The western lowland gorilla can be brown or grayish with a reddish forehead. In addition, gorillas that live in lowland forests are more slender and agile than the more bulky mountain gorillas. The eastern gorilla also has a longer face and a broader chest than the western gorilla. Another difference is size. Lowland gorillas are 4 to 6 feet or 1.2 to 1.8 meters tall and weigh 150 to 400 pounds or 68 to 181 kilograms. Mountain gorillas are about the same height, though they tend to weigh a bit more. They are 4 to 6 feet tall and weigh 300 to 485 pounds or 135 to 220 kilograms. Like humans, gorillas have individual fingerprints. Their eye color is dark brown, framed by a black ring around the iris. Gorilla facial structure is described as mandibular prognathism, that is, the mandible protrudes farther out than the maxilla. Adult males also have a prominent sagittal crest. The name orangutan means man of the forest in the Malay language. In the lowland forest in which they reside, orangutans live a solitary existence. The orangutan is the largest tree-living animal in the world. Males stand approximately 1.4 meters or 4.5 feet and weigh approximately 90 kilograms or 200 pounds. Females stand approximately 1.1 meters or 3.5 feet and weigh about 50 kilograms or 110 pounds. The body is covered with a dark rufous or reddish brown, rather thin, shaggy coat. The arms are 1.5 times longer than the legs and from fingertip to fingertip can measure as long as 8 feet in large adult males. The shoulder and hip joints are extremely supple, allowing each limb to move easily in any direction. The feet and hands are almost identical. The thumbs are comparatively much shorter than those of the other ape species, as longer thumbs would inhibit swinging through the trees. The feet are also prehensile to aid in grasping. The Sumatran orangutans tend to be lighter in color and have longer, thicker hair than the Bornean. The most striking difference between the two is the faces of adult males. The Bornean male adults develop large cheek flanges as they are sexually mature. These grow outward and forward from the skull, giving the face a concave shape. The Sumatran males develop cheek flanges that grow sideways rather than forward, giving the face a more flattened look. The Sumatrans also tend to grow larger beards and mustaches than the Borneans. Range and Habitat the western lowland gorilla and the cross river gorilla, the two western gorilla subspecies, inhabit tropical rainforests in Cameroon, the Republic of the Congo, Gabon, and the Equatorial Guinea. They also occur in a small portion of Nigeria and the westernmost tip of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Eastern gorillas, which include the eastern lowland gorilla and the mountain gorilla, can be found among the eastern border of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Their range also includes parts of Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi. 
The lowland subspecies live in rainforests, while the mountain subspecies prefer higher elevation cloud forests. Orangutans are currently found on the island of Borneo, which is divided between the nations of Malaysia and Indonesia, and on the northern tip of the Indonesian island of Sumatra. Historically, orangutans ranged throughout much of southeastern Asia. The two separate subspecies have been isolated from each other for over a million years, with no route of gene flow between the two. Orangutans inhabit tropical rainforests as well as peat swamp forests. They primarily utilize the middle canopy. Large tracts of mature forests are needed to sustain the species. It is estimated that suitable orangutan habitat in Malaysia and Sumatra has declined by more than 80% in the last two decades. Diet and Behavior Gorillas are herbivores and therefore only eat fruit and leaves. They do not hunt or eat other animals, but occasionally feed on small insects and termites. Diet varies between species mainly due to the availability of certain foods in different habitats. Some gorilla species can consume over 200 species of plants and fruit. An adult gorilla is capable of consuming 18 to 20 kilograms of food every day. Gorillas are generally peaceful, shy, and amiable unless threatened. However, males will stand erect and beat their chest with their fist in an attempt to intimidate or show off their strength. They growl loudly and become very dangerous when annoyed or attacked. Gorillas also demonstrate aggression by charging towards perceived intruders. They rarely hit the intruder though. Instead, they rush past and may charge again. Gorillas band together in groups of 5 to 15 individuals. A typical group consists of one dominant male, many adult females with their young. In some cases, a smaller pack of less dominant males will associate on the periphery of this core group. The dominant male, sometimes known as a silverback because of the age-related graying hair on his back, remains dominant until another male displaces him from his position. Displaced silverbacks typically lead a solitary life. Orangutans primarily feed on fruit. More than 300 different food items have been identified in their diet. Several of these fruits are very spiny and require preparation before eating, which is a procedure that young orangutans must learn from their mothers. Also, orangutans feed heavily on bark, leaves, and other plant parts, in addition to termites, caterpillars, ants, crickets, and honey. The dentition differs from other ape species as the back molars contain a thicker layer of enamel. These teeth are capable of cracking even the hardest of nuts. Orangutans are primarily solitary, although they are capable of forming strong social attachments. Their size and arboreal lifestyle prevent this, since the fruit-bearing trees they inhabit would not be able to physically support large groups or provide enough fruit to sustain a large group. The bond between mother and offspring is strong and the infant stays with its mother for up to 10 years. Approximately 60% of the daylight hours are spent in search of and consuming food. Each night, a new nest is built approximately 40 or 50 feet up in a tree. Although orangutans are almost exclusively arboreal, males will come to the ground to move between stands of trees. Because of their larger bulk, the males tend to stay lower on the canopy than the females, which reduces competition for food when their ranges overlap. Tool use in both wild and captive orangutans has been well documented. This includes making items to scratch with, probe for food with, making umbrellas, and even using sticks to create ladders and bridges. Imitating human behaviors with tools is also documented in captivity and at rehabilitation camps. Who would win if the gorilla and the orangutan would fight? A pound-for-pound -pound fight between these two giants would surely be appealing to watch. However, they exist in completely different habitats and have nil chances of ever crossing paths. Although assuming a male silverback and an adult male orangutan was on a battleground, the gorilla might win the battle. In size, gorillas are mightier and stockier than their opponents. They have large, robust hands that could sufficiently deliver a lethal blow. Also, their long, sharp canines are quite pronounced, and they would likely use this to their advantage. They are also well built for ground fighting, as they have learned to establish dominance in their troops through physical force. Orangutans, on the other hand, are arboreal gentle animals. 
poorly adapted to ground movement. They are also solitary creatures that avoid confrontation with other animals. Their hands, though long and powerful, are more effective for their climbing skill rather than signaling a blow, let alone hitting. Moreover, they are lacking in protruding jaws and gnawing canines like their counterparts. Though orangutans are strong for their size, gorillas are stronger and physically built for fights, and thus would easily win. This battle could only go sideways if an adult male orangutan encounters a sick or injured silverback. Otherwise, the silverback is always the prize winner. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.